With a system like Envision Manager, it is vitally important that user access is managed efficiently so the right people have the right access with the right amount of privileges. Users are managed through the Envision Manager configuration tool. Selecting Manage Users opens the User Access Management window. It breaks down into three elements. The first section is Users. Anyone that requires a login to Envision Manager, either the Client or Configuration tool, must have their login details listed here. For them to receive notification messages, an email address will also need to be shown. Then we have User Role. This determines which services within the Envision Manager client and also the Envision Manager configuration tool a user can control. Examples are the ability to write and edit schedules or to program presets. Finally, we have tenancy groups. This defines what resources of the project a user can access via the Envision Manager client. Clicking back to the Users view, we will start by adding a new user. Click on Add. First you need to define whether you are searching for users, groups or both. Then choose the location to determine where the logins will be gathered from. The final stage is to locate the name. If the name is known, then it can be typed in the relevant box and then click on Check Names. For more specific search criteria, click on the Advanced button. Once the user is located, select OK. This returns you to the list where the new user will now be listed. Note that if you add a group, it will only show the group name, not the names of the users in that group. However, every user in the group will have the access you define for that group. Having created a new user, we must link them to the user role and the tenancy groups required. But first we must get a clearer understanding of their importance. We click on User Roles. A user role defines a list of securable services that a user is able to perform within Envision Manager. Notice the list of securable services down the right hand side of the screen. Ticking the box to the right of the service allows access to that function. By default, four user roles have been defined. The built-in super user has access to all services and is designed for administrators. This means they can log into both the Envision Manager configuration tool and the Envision Manager client. The securable services are greyed out as they are all pre-selected. It is not possible to make any changes to this user role. The built-in guest user has limited access, but importantly does have the logon box ticked, which means they can log into the Envision Manager client. All the services are selectable though, so changes can easily be made to this group. The roles created for normal and power users differ in the number of options that are pre-selected, but both can be edited. A new user role can be added by clicking Add, renaming the role and then ticking the required services on the right of the screen. It may save time to duplicate a current role and then just remove or add the extra services required. On the screen we are duplicating the normal users role and creating a training user role. A final point on the list of securable services. If you wish to give a user a login to the configuration tool, the server configuration option needs to be selected. Database management then gives them access to the Manage DBs button, while the user access management allows them to access the Manage Users button. We will now click on Tenancy Groups. 
The tenancy groups control the list of resources that a user has access to within a project. The resources list shown on the right of the screen is broken down into six categories. Physical plans allows a selection of specific plans within the project, which then breaks down further into a number of categories. Some features will come direct from the original project file, like devices and areas. Others are defined within the Envision Manager client, like bookmarks and Envision Manager buttons. Next we have global buttons. These are the buttons that have been defined on the console tab of the Envision Manager client in the global or building view. Next is Dali Emergency Groups. These are defined in the original Envision project file. EM Schedules. This list is based on the schedules that have been defined in the Envision Manager client. EM Tasks shows the list based on the macros that have been created within the Envision Manager client. And EM Triggers is based on the triggers that have been created within the client. There are some predefined tenancy groups in the system. The built-in site owner group has every resource ticked and is greyed out so is unchangeable. If any new resources are added via the client, for example a new schedule or macro, this group will automatically gain access. It is expected that this group is used by the key administrators of the project. We will create a new tenancy group that is specifically working on the DALI level of the project. Notice by just selecting the DALI level under the physical plans means we automatically gain access to all the features of that level. We then scroll down to show the relevant buttons on our global console view. We are now ready to return to our new user and link them up with our new role and tenancy group. Click back on users. While it is possible for a user to be linked to multiple user roles and multiple tenancy groups, this will be a decision of the administrator whether this is a logical approach. For our example, we will link our new user to our training user role and our DALI group tenancy role. Logging into the client, we can see that our new user only has access to information on the DALI level and none of the other plans. That concludes the introduction to adding and managing users within Envision Manager.